Okay, I just want to address really quickly before we get into this. I have a bit of the travel crud. Um, don't judge my voice. Don't judge how I sound right now. Um, yeah, it's not great. Uh, but just don't judge how my voice sounds right now. Um, so hey guys, welcome back to Ryber Shared. In today's video, we are heading to the Hue Blah. Huey Junior Patriot, lots of money up for grabs, huge title up for grabs, and I'm going to be taking Peggy. So let's get into it. We are off to Fort Worth, Texas. We are kicking the Junior Ranger vlog off at 5.12 in the morning. I just got a few minutes ago, and I'm about to go feed the horses it is literally still dark but we're leaving in two hours so gotta go feed <laughs> Guys, moving because they've been on the trailer like 13 hours. So, has it not? No, it's been like 12, 10. 10, I don't know, too long. <laughs> Dad. 
Beautiful. Truly beautiful. Wait! All right, just came back over to the stalls. I'm gonna ride her for just a few minutes and let her get her legs stretched. some food and then I went and rode Peggy around a little bit just to let her stretch her legs and kind of get comfortable and then we got her back in her stall she's all tucked in for the night and I'm probably about to watch a couple of rodeos on TV and then go to sleep so I will see you guys in the morning <laughs> shirts from Barrel Barbie and now we're taking Peggy on a walk or a trot whatever she decides okay so we went over to the Barrel Barbie booth um, I went and got shirts but after me and Savannah went to go get a picture so we got a picture here's Peggy um, we got a picture shop a little more we didn't buy anything we we're just looking and then I get Peggy her paste she thinks I'm gonna give her more. Um, I gave her a paste and I just put her tail bag on and we're hanging out. Just being a good girl. She's a little bit stressed, but she's getting better the longer we stay and hang out. So I'm gonna get her out of her stall in a little while and hopefully she won't stress too much.
Okay, we are back on the fairgrounds. So I'm getting Peggy out of her stall. We're gonna go walk for like an hour. Then I'll feed her, let her kind of hang out, and then it'll be almost time to open arena. Hi, don't wrap me up in your rope. I didn't get much footage of our walk because Peggy was quite the handful and trying to drag me down the whole time. Um, so I'm about to braid her hair and just kind of hang out for a little while. All right, so I'm just hanging out waiting to feed Peggy. I went live and braided her hair and cleaned her stall and gave her water and all that stuff and I got to meet a super sweet supporter. So yeah, that was really exciting. I always love getting to meet you guys. All right, it's almost time for our open arena and I'm about to get Peggy all saddled up. Grab a chair and get behind the scenes. Um, we did open arena, we got the horses washed and everything and all put up and now we're heading over there to check them one more time before bed and I will catch up with you guys when we get over there to the fairgrounds. <music> So it's the next day and we're heading over to fairgrounds to feed the horses.
bed, clean stalls, gave water and hay, and now I think we're going to the trailer to get our hats out, and then McDonald's. We're going to we'll McDonald's. See. Maybe McDonald's. So we did open arena. We went shopping a little. We fed horses. Um, we watched the first 50 runners tonight go. And now we're going to the trailer to see if we have pop-up barrels because we want to work horses. Even though we already rode them today, but we'll just work them light if we do have pop-up barrels to work them with. If we don't, then we're just not gonna work them. We did indeed have pop-ups. Now we're going to go work barrels.
catch up update. It is the morning of the semifinals. They start in about an hour, and I run about four hours into the semifinals. But here's the fit. We're semifinals ready. Um, so yesterday I just made some rider mistakes. I didn't know how ready or free she's gonna be. She's actually very free. So today I'm not gonna ride her as hard. I'm gonna quiet down and try to get my barrels a little closer. And hopefully we make a really, really good run and advance into the top 15. I'm really nervous, but hopefully we do really, really good and we advance into the top 15 and get to run the G Huey Junior Patriot Finals, which has been like the biggest goal of mine for years. So hopefully today's the day and we get it done. So I'm excited to see. It'll be interesting. So yeah, we also went to the stockyards last night and that was fun. And now we're about to head over to the arena. So.
okay, I've done a terrible do vlog bleh, job of vlogging, but I haven't really done much today because I don't run today. Um, but we just watched Brandon win the million at the American on our phones, of course. Um, well, he might win 500,000. It depends if a bull rider splits it with him. But yeah, that's where we're at. And now I'm about to shower, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so we're getting ready, packing up to leave our Airbnb. Today's Junior Patriot Finals Day. I'm not running, but my sister is, which is the reason we're even still out here right now. Um, and it's Junior Patriot Finals Day, so we're gonna watch it, watch Savannah, and then I think we're leaving pretty dang quick after to head home, so yay. That's gonna be all. I hope you enjoyed. So it was not mine and Peggy's week. However, Savannah and Stryker had a really great week. They brought home a little over twelve thousand dollars. They had a great week. Um, but it wasn't my week. But we are gonna learn, we're gonna grow, we're gonna go on to the next one, full speed ahead. And we've got some IFR dreams we are trying to chase. So we are gonna focus on that and go for it. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye. I got a thing for the heart on ice. Short days and long nights, marbles at the window.